it, it, it fundamentally it wasn't about, you know, he, he sort of, he threatened me at one point and said, you know, uh, Boris, I don't want to hurt you, but uh, with a missile it would only take a minute or something like that, you know. Uh, you know, jolly. Uh, but I think from the, the very relaxed tone that he was taking, uh, the sort of air of detachment that he seemed to have, he was just playing along uh, with my attempts to get him to negotiate. Now, sources have revealed a senior US general told the defence secretary, pictured here with his troops, that the British Army is no longer regarded as a top level or tier one fighting force. A defence source speaking anonymously said about the army, it's an entire service unable to protect the UK and our allies for a decade. Ukraine bears the scars of a country that wasn't able to deter an invasion. Defence sources say the war here should be a huge wake-up call for most Western allies to get serious about their own defences, something that hasn't really happened since the Cold War. As things stand for the UK, its military would run out of ammunition in just a few days if called upon to fight, and it lacks the ability to protect British skies from the level of missile strikes that Ukraine's enduring. Now, a four-star U.S. Air Force general has warned of a possible conflict with China, most likely over Taiwan. As early as 2025, he urged his commanders to push their units to achieve maximum operational battle readiness this year. An internal memorandum over the issue emerged on social media and was later confirmed as genuine by the Pentagon. In the memorandum, the head of the U.S. Air Mobility Command, General Mike Minihan, said that the goal or the main goal should be to deter and, if required, to defeat China. Minihan says he hopes that he is wrong, but added that his gut says U.S. will fight in 2025. General Minihan reasoned his argument on this. Taiwan has presidential elections next year. This would offer Chinese President Xi Jinping an excuse for military aggression. During this time, the United States will be the most likely distracted by its own contest for the White House. General Minihan hence says that Xi's team, reason and opportunity are all aligned for 2025. So the Admiral Gorshkov frigate uh, is in the Western Atlantic. So what is it doing there so far from home and so far from Ukraine? Well, it's a great question. The Gorshkov is about a 10-year-old frigate, about 450 feet long, about four to 5,000 tons. Probably the most significant aspect of this particular ship is that it carries a new state-of-the-art missile system called the Zircon missile, which is a very capable hypersonic uh, missile that's designed to destroy other ships and potentially attack land targets at ranges upwards of a thousand kilometers. The exact range, we're not really sure. It's reportedly on its way to do some joint exercises yeah. with the Chinese Navy and the South and African the South Navy. Africans, yeah. um, one would not typically drive from Murmansk to South Africa via the Western Atlantic. So that, where are they? Near Bermuda? Well, something. that's the last report. And yeah. of course, they're not reporting their position okay. anymore. We don't really, I'm sure, I'm sure the uh, military folks know exactly where she is, but we in the public domain don't know where she is. They're trying to demonstrate uh, what they've been saying all along, the rhetoric out of Moscow, that, uh, you know, the actions of the West as it relates to what's going on in Ukraine are uh, provocative from a Russian perspective and that there will be repercussions. And so this is a, uh, a signal, as modest as it is, that uh, the Russian military is modern, it's capable, and that they can reach out anywhere that they want to go, including into the Western Atlantic, which is traditionally the stronghold of the United States and, and its allies. Now, Iran says it has repelled a drone attack targeting a military site in its central Isfahan province. The announcement came amid heightening tensions with the arch enemy Israel over Tehran's nuclear program. Iran's defense ministry says that a drone attack was carried out at one of its workshop complexes and was destroyed by the site's anti-aircraft defense system. The attack took place on Saturday at around 11.30 p.m. The statement by the Defense Ministry states that one of the drones was hit by the system, 
while the other two were caught in defence traps and blew up. State media had reported a loud explosion near the site. However, no casualties were reported and the site suffered only minor damages. The region where the attack took place has several known nuclear research sites, including a uranium conversion plant. Israel has accused Iran of seeking to develop nuclear weapons. Tehran has dismissed this. In July, Iran said it had arrested a sabotage team made up of Kurdish militants working for Israel who plan to blow up a sensitive defense industry center in Isfahan.